Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got these two purple and one green rectangle such that the areas of these purple rectangles are given to us. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green rectangle as you can see in this figure and finally let me make it clear that all our numbers going to be the whole numbers no decimals so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's focus on this smaller purple rectangle as you can see over here i am going to call this length a and the width b now let's focus on these heights we know that this is four units this whole thing is five then their difference this much is going to be one isn't it and moreover we know that this distance is b we can see that one so this total distance from here to here is going to be b plus 1 so that means this distance is going to be just b plus 1 now let's focus on this distance from here to here is a and from here to here it is 3 and we know the total length from here to here is 12 and we can see that this distance in this bigger purple box is going to be 9 minus a and if you are not sure let's go ahead and add a plus 3 plus this quantity and that should add up to 12 and here I have added a plus this 3 plus 9 minus a and we can see that negative a and a is gone so 3 plus 9 indeed gives us 12 so therefore I have just wrote down for this larger purple rectangle our length is 9 minus a and our width is b plus 1 and here's our next step let's focus on this smaller purple rectangle once again and we are going to find the area of this rectangle in terms of this length a and width b and here's the area of a rectangle formula area equal to length time width so the area is going to be simply in our case length is a and width is b but we know the area of this uh, rectangle is 12 so i can write a times b equal to 12 and i'm going to call this as an equation number one and here's our next step let's focus on this larger rectangle purple rectangle and we are going to find the area of this rectangle in terms of a and b and here once again the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length time width let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area is going to be simply 9 minus a times b plus one let's go ahead and distribute this thing foil method let's take care of that one that is going to give us 9 b plus 9 minus a b minus a but we know that the area of this rectangle is 20 so i'm going to replace this one by 20 over here and at the same time we know a b from equation 1 is 12 i am going to replace this one by 12 as well and here after replacing these values we got this thing now let's simplify furthermore so 20 equal to 9 b minus a and that is going to give us negative 3 let's add 3 on both sides that means we are going to get 9 b minus a equal to 23 and now we can see that this represents a linear equation and now if we plot out 
A and B values on this T chart, if A equals to 1 and plug it in in this equation, we are going to get this fraction which is not a whole number. And if we keep plugging in A values, we found out at A equals to 4, which is a whole number, we get the B value which is 3 which is a whole number as well and this is what we were interested in so that means our a value turns out to be 4 and b value is 3 so we can see that this width b turns out to be 3 units now let's focus on this green rectangle we know that this total height from here to here is going to be 5 plus this 3 if we add them that is going to give us 8 units so therefore our length turns out to be a b is 3 plus 5 is 8 and our width is simply 3 now here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green rectangle and here's the area of rectangle formula area equal to length time width so area of this green rectangle is going to be 8 times 3 means area turns out to be 24 thus the area of this green rectangle turns out to be 24 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye